the time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to exit the chamber. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, Simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update this future the location version of, of the, the cube same cube in, in the that. future. Please continue to the next chamber. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. So, you solved it. Not in the intended timeline, but you solved it. Congratulations. And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents this marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. A portal placed in the present, a portal placed in the future, will not over- Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Nicely done. Take note, because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum. So, you solved it. Not in the intended timeline, but you solved it. Congratulations. Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Well done. 
traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. Nicely done. Now, let's move on to some more advanced challenges. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left a cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. If at any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section? Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. You create your own solutions, which is great. Technically, you are supposed to do something else. But who cares? These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Great! By now, you might be wondering how it is possible to hear these automated messages, regardless of which timeline you're in. We implanted a small device directly into your brain. That way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are. Considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work. Things are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. You solved it. And you were pretty quick about it too. Great work. We tried many times to open a passage to the future, but this connection exactly 20 years from now is the only one stable enough to last longer than a few microseconds. Good. The second half of this testing course is located below you. Unfortunately, no elevator can take you there, so you will have to take the stairs. That works too. Well done. Since the catwalk to the next chamber appears to be non-existent, you can rely on the power of aerial faith plates to get you there. This next chamber should really test your observation skills. Take a good look around first and then decide what to do and in which order.
outstanding. You are the first test subject to ever make it to this point. In fact, you are the first test subject to ever survive a trip to the future at all. These light bridges are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal, so use them wisely. Good thinking. With all this talk about time travel, do you ever question the meaning of it all? Do your actions have any consequences? Or are we all just following the determinist? Here's a fun experiment. Listen carefully. The next thing you will do is jump in three, two, one. It appears that the universe is strictly deterministic and everything you do is already predetermined. You create your own solutions, which is great. Technically, you are supposed to do something else. But who cares anyway? Keep going. Good news. We found a way to make these turrets more durable. They should now also work in the future. Most of them, anyway. Should you find a defective turret in the future, feel free to mark this as a flaw in your test report. Nicely done. And don't worry, you won't encounter any turrets between the test chambers. Except for these ones. At this point, you might rightfully be asking yourself why we put you through all this. This testing track was built as a failsafe. My job is to ensure that testing can continue, no matter the circumstance. You see, this facility is largely controlled by one entity. For some reason, this entity seems completely unresponsive. 20 years from now. That's why the future looks the way it does. We have lost all control, and we need to find a way to restore it. Well done. You have proven yourself to be quite capable. Keep going, and you might actually fulfill your true purpose in all this. You are in the home stretch now. Only a few more chambers until this testing course is over. Time to introduce the last new testing element. These Aperture Science Excursion Funnels will mostly work in both timelines. Have fun exploring all your options in the next chamber. The time-bending technology used to create these time portals is only stable in one specific configuration. We cannot choose the exact point in time to which the time portals will lead. We can only take a small glimpse of what the facility looks like 20 years from now. What exactly transpired is still unknown, but the data we collected points to a single rogue test subject.
Welcome to the final chamber. Don't get overwhelmed. Take everything one step at a time, and you will soon find the solution. Astonishing. You really did it. You've proven to be capable of nearly anything. Now it's time for your real mission. We will put you back in stasis until the day of the incident, and you will be the one to prevent it. This vacuum tube will take you back to the long-term human storage vault. You will be awoken when the time comes to use your special abilities to save this facility from its impending doom. The Enrichment Center thanks you for your contribution to science. You are going to achieve great things in the future.